Irish dead. Laurence Olivier directed and starred in the 1944 film of Shakespeare's Henry V. And this film was much more than just a film of a Shakespeare play. It was right um, at the height of the Second World War. It was quite shamelessly a propaganda tool. It was an epic, it was a spectacular, which was designed to um, instill in people patriotic feelings, the idea of a great history, you know, the image of um, Olivier's, Olivier's resonant tones singing, you know, cry God for England, Harry and St George. A very important part of the success of this film and the atmosphere that it created was William Walton's score. It's quite ironic in a sense because he was very cosmopolitan. You know, he looked to France, his music had a kind of international feel to it, but he was able to write uh, music which evoked in people a, a sort of strong sense of, I guess he had the mantle of Elgar, if you like, and the score for Henry V, which has this feel of a sort of great English tradition. It's an English tradition that he's kind of invented himself. It's, you know, the brassy sounds, the broad melodies. It goes so well with the battle scenes and also there's a, quite a lot in this score of looking to a much older past in particularly English music. So you get some um, Tudor music. It, that, this was at a time when, um, well, Vaughan Williams and Holst had really been, had already uncovered English Tudor music, music by Talis, music by Purcell, and, and even before that. Um, and um, Walton quotes that kind of sound world, particularly in the more domestic scenes in the film. Thank <laughs> you.